Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Scotty, Hey there, everybody. We got volume, I think. Yeah, look up, man. Yeah, we got volume. So it's Friday Night Flies, Boulder, a.k.a. Scott. I'm in Fish Finder, but I'm not wearing that one that I normally am, so this doesn't apply anymore. But uh, Mustang Hooks, there we go. We're at Spud Valley Sporting Goods, 1380 Birch Street, mustard, downtown. Mustard. Mustard Hooks. Mustard. Oh, I've been saying it wrong all these years. Drink it, man? Um, I'm drinking the new Coca Cola Raspberry. Is it good? So yeah. far, so good. I won't try that. Mm. Do they come and diet? No. Damn, maybe I ain't going to try But it. no, they do have a diet one. Okay. Part of that, and part of that diet coke, oh, whole, all those weird ones. The whole push movement. Yeah, all those weird ones. Coke, if you coke, want a coke. diet coke, drink a diet coke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's yeah. what the chick says yeah. on the commercial. I don't know. It's like actually a guy. Yeah, it's, it's a guy. But oh, there's, there's a, a girl chick. one too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, man. What do we got tonight? What are we doing? Friday Night Flies. Uh, I'm doing a. It's called the EC Caddis Merger. I'm guessing EC stands for Emerging Caddis. Yeah. Um, but it was tied back in the day, 1981, by Ralph Cutter, you I had think. You Ethan, Ethan Cox jumping out of his pants. Why? Thinking you were, the EC was his initials, like you named it after oh, him. Oh, the Ethan, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> no, this pattern's too good for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, uh, Kaboom. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a good pattern. There's a lot of them on the internet. Uh, you know, even Davey McPhail tied one up, all kinds of people, um, all kinds of color variations. The key to his pattern is the, either an elk or deer hair wing, which is wrapped post style with the hackle, which allows the body to sink into the water, therefore making it an emerger. And uh, it has a little bit of a trailing husk on that, and I've seen them done with all kinds of stuff. Uh, today we're going to be doing it with some glitter thread, but I've seen it done with Antron. Um, I don't know, all kinds of weird stuff. But tie some up. It's a good fly. Just go down all around. And, uh, just give it a slow roll. Show yep. Everybody Early is. season. These are in my box. Um, I went to it go. Just looks, that just looks like a real fancy elk hair caddis. Basically, that's, yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Fancy. Fancy. That's it. Fancy. Fancy. And you could make it even fancier by putting a rib in there, but uh, I don't find it necessary. Is that, what is that? CDC inside there? Uh, no. What is that? We have awesome possum dubbing awesome possum. for the body, and then it's um, elk hair on top, and then a little cock cape. Cock. Cock, cock cape for the hackle. So this fly rides down in the surface film. The deer hair is the only thing that really keeps it floating, which makes it a little difficult to see when you're fishing it, but just use an indicator or a tandem fly if you're allowed to use that where you live. We are not. A dropper. Yep. We're ready for you, man. Fly at her. We're going. Fly so out. this would be on the large size. This is a size 10 <coughs> Mustad dry fly hook. And I got my uh, my favorite thread. And that's This is the thread I use the most, camel, right there, in 8 odd and 6 odd. There's, you do like that camel. I like the camel. And we're off. Threads on, and then we're going to cut off the trim tag. All right. I am not an auctioneer, so I'm going to stop trying. Using for the husk, or the trailing husk, there is some Superfly glitter thread by uh, Pro Tire. Interesting enough, that's what I am. Must be mine. I want royalties. So I got some olive, I'm going to cut off a piece, and I got some brown, I'm going to cut off a piece. Now the brown, I'm going to double up, See? and I'm just going to fold it over in half, there's my two ends, and I want just one end of the green, so I got basically three pieces there. And I'm just going to clean up the little ends, so I'm just going to cut all that off. Choop. That's where I'm going to tie it in. One, two, three pieces, and we're going to trap this, and I'm going to tie it going down, so I'm saving on bulk on the body. Plus, tying time. A couple of wraps in there, just slide those tips back a little bit. Right on top. Boom, 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 boom. Bring her just around that hook bend a little bit. A couple of nice turns in there. 
So you can see my thread is now hanging back by where the barb is, and I want the husk to be about the length of the, of the hook shaft That's there. That's where tied in. Snip. And we're going to take our little, sometimes you can just do it with your fingers, just twirl them around a little bit, separate those fibers. So if you're going to be using something instead of the specific Superfly glitter thread, just pick some sort of thread that has a little bit of fibers that you can pull apart. See, there you go. That's your husk. And if you don't like the square cut, you can give her a little, a little bit of a trim on some of these outside fibers, taper it a little bit. There we go. Not so square. Beautiful. That's my husk. Off to the races. Awesome possum. Love this dubbing. Good stuff. Now the sample and was this nice orange color. And I think I'm going to do a variant. I'm going to do a different color so you can match what's going on around you. And I'm going to go with a golden olive. Golden olive. Let's just get a little bit of this out. I use this a lot apparently because that little container is almost empty of golden olive. All right, we got our dubbing. Beautiful, awesome possum. Shorten that back up. And we're just going to dub this onto the thread here. Just push it up against your fly, one wrap, anchor it, give it a couple spins. And then we're going to build this body going up. And moving towards the thorax, you know, you want to you want to give them some body. You want to give her some hips. Just keep going until you got the, what you want. And this is looking like exactly what I want. And we're going to go just over halfway here. Build up this little part here. See what it looks like on your guys' side. Beautiful. Just stroke this stuff all back. A couple wraps in front and give her a little twist and turn with your fingers, roughing her up a little bit. Unperfect it. Make a little, uh, little more buggy, a little more natural. And if you got some unruly long ones, let's get rid of them. There we go. Looking good. You, that's a sharp hook, mustache. All right, next. Back to some more beautiful Superfly product. Actually, incorrect. Let's put in this here while everything is nice and clean. And then we'll do our. So this is a just a generic Chinese cock cape. A nice cheap one. Burn orange, cheap one for mergers. You know we don't want we don't need this thing riding high. And I'm just going to peel back some of these unwanted fibers in the back, and I'm going to tie this to the rear with the uh, outer part of the of that hackle facing myself. So the outer is facing me. Got it. Just tie we'll that plug, on. We'll plug this at the end of the show. What is that? A mustard article yeah, somewhere? New, the new mustard. Uh, Let's do a little foreshadowing. What yeah. magazine's it in? That's uh, Angling International. Ooh -hoo. They got the whole back page. Look forward to that. I'm going to give them a little splash out. Okay, so we got that uh, hackle in. Now I'm going to Superfly Diamond Dub, one of Friday Night Fly's favorite dubbings. Why? Because it's shiny. And this here happens to be Peacock Olive. So I'm going to give a nice little dub in here. <coughs> Alright, see how that's done? Just get off whatever excess you don't want there. Give it a little clean up, a little pull back. Now we're going to go to our wing. Beautiful elk hair caddis sent to me by... Uh, Susan out and Chinook you? Wind Outfitters. I'm hoping you can help me. Do you have, I know, it's a sporting good shot. Do you have anything that would help us on the door? 
Oh, we got some travelers locked out of their house. Your car? Out of their um, car. Truck. Truck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if the boys can rescue them. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> see, we have All right. the keys. So we got some milk here. Caddis there. I'm just getting out that down from inside of it. All right. Yeah. Stick her in the stair hack. Stair hacker. Like it, they go in, but it doesn't. Yeah, the door locks. Pair stacker. Get those tips all together. Oh, magic! Look at that. Magic. Grab those tips. Give her a little jingle, jingle, jingle. Make sure there's nothing else loose. And now, uh, not critical, but definitely helps your tying. A little wax on your thread. I don't care what kind you use. That's the money right there. <laughs> you do have some left. That's that's all I got. Buddy, that's I'm the. Like, I'm down to like half of that. Peacock olive. Are you I sure think. that's what it is? I think so. All right, so we got our wax on our thread. We got our deer hair stacked. We want that wing to be just past the body, just just a hair past. All right, so that's it. Looking pretty. Transfer hands. Hold on nice <coughs> and tight. Get a loop on there. Pull down. Cinch her down right in front of that dubbing. Good couple right, of turns. Before we get it too far, you know, we're just going to bring those head pieces back up. Oh, yeah, she's looking good. And now transfer everything if you can. Nice and tight down. Get a good couple wraps underneath. Okay, now the fun part begins. This hackle, we're going to post it around this wing. What? In true Friday Night Flies Pro Tire Scott style, no hackle plier. Look at the skill. Oh, we're getting good at this. Pliers. We're getting good at this no hackle plier business. So, we just posted. Uh, We'll wrap that hackle around, get everything, trap that hackle, one, two, three, ho oh, ho, beautiful thing. Now, you got to sneak in there and get rid of that tag. There she goes. Just pull everything back and we're going to tighten right back up to that post again. Where all that elk hair is tied in, and we're going to finish this off with a little bit more of our favorite dubbing from Superfly. You can't get that. It's a discontinued color. Special blend. Oh my god. Special blend. That is got to be some of the buggiest stuff for our waters. All right, so we're just putting some loose dubbing in there, and then I'm just going to take my thread and tighten down by winding through, pull everything back, a couple little right around the eye oh look at that another superfly pug superfly flex head cement use whatever you like solar res if you want just touch a little bit on that thread a little whip finish and this fly she's almost done a little haircut and we're off to the river. All right, so that's in there. Beautiful. Click. Now, just like a normal elk hair caddis, so you just want to kind of bring this forward a little bit again. But we are going to trim that head in. So try to get those short ones, the butt ends. Get them all together. Where my scissors go before I get too far. No, just use your scissors to get some of those out of there. Beautiful. Just like that. So we're going to hold all that together. And try not to get that hackle. Yeah, it's not too bad if you grab it. It still gives it wings on both sides. So sneak your scissors up in there. Cut them off. I'm, I'd be more concerned about cutting your wing off than the little bit of hackle in the very front. That's your elk head. And it's flatten her down a little bit. Give her a little. Ooh, that hook is tacky. And I'm just gonna trim up the back 
from bottom a little bit, get rid of some of those fibers. We want that to get down into the water. And that is your trailing shuck EC emerging caddis. Boy, give ooh. it a slow roll, man. Let's have a quick look at that. Thing. Ooh and ah, boys and girls. That's ooh. very pretty. Ooh and ah, just like that. <coughs> nice little caddis emerger for when. It'll have a nice footprint. I think in the so. water. Yeah, yep. That's a beauty, man. Yeah, it has a good profile. Try it in a few different colored hackles. And that awesome possum dubbing, it soaks up water so it helps to sink the ass end in. I'd tie one with a uh, like a blue dun hackle. Oh yeah, that'd be nice too. Black. Yeah. That'd yeah. be another good one. Yeah. But I mean that's That's relatively... your basic right there. There's your basic two colors, right? You got your your brown. Your brown and your green. Yeah, beautiful man. Anyhow, we'll go up top. Actually, yeah, we'll go up top. Yeah, take See us out. Well. So that was Friday Night Flies. Thanks for watching us. I'm Boulder. Um, I know young Ethan's standing here, so that means he's going to be up with a fly. So stay tuned. Zach just gave us a carotomant, so it looks like Ethan's got a big juicy streamer on there. So we got lake, we got river, we got meat flies, and we got a little shout out to Mustang. Show the front first, man, so people can read it. That's uh, Angling International. That's uh, one that I've subscribed to. It keeps me on top of what's happening. But on the back page, damn, back cover. up a little bit. Back cover. Look at Look that. Look at that must add. They're all over it, man. That's yeah. a great article. This yeah. magazine just might find its way into my box for the night. Yeah, it talks about trends and stuff that's happening across this wonderful... Across the nation? Newest wonderful the newest. planet Earth. Planet Earth, not just the nation. No, not just the nation. It's global. Inter international. It's global. Okay, Anyways, man. take me out, B. A little word from our sponsors. Friday Night Flies would like to thank the following sponsors. Superfly, Solarez, Chinook Wind Outfitters, Dr. Slick, Griffin, Stonefoe.